Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. It's uh, Tony Walsh here. Uh, it's been a little over a week since we've uh, uploaded a video as we've been busy with a, a few things. Uh, it's uh, Sunday afternoon here so I'm just out scouting some fields. Uh, as I said we've been busy with some other things as uh, the three of us work full-time jobs uh, farm in the afternoon. Uh, it's actually my son's the actual owner of, of Walsh Farms and me and his younger brother just help him out uh, so it's Sunday afternoon so I'm bored and just thought I'd do some riding around and do some scouting uh, you can see the equipment here is not moving of course it's on Sunday afternoon is one, one reason it's not moving but also uh, Tropical Storm Nestor decided to come through and left us anywhere from three quarter to three and a half inches of rain so we'll be down for the next couple of days uh waiting on the dirt and the peanuts to dry out so let's get out and go look and see how wet we actually are and here we are in the field that uh, we've been working on for a week uh if you're new to my channel uh, i had uh brian saunders from slc farms and jackie gerald from gerald farms from south carolina they come and visited with us last Monday and Tuesday and then we went to the Sun Belt Ag Expo in Moultrie Georgia but on Monday uh, Brian from SLC Farms shot a good video of us picking peanuts and all that so if you're not a subscriber to Brian's channel please go look at SLC Farms and uh, you'll see uh, us in action late Monday afternoon and into Monday night uh, this is that same field uh, so you can look closer and see that the dirt's you know got a little bit of moisture at the top but uh it's uh still wet there a little bit at the bottom when i when i dig a hole right there uh it should dry out in a couple days uh even though it's not standing water just the equipment is heavy and uh leads to a lot of soil compaction if you're not careful so we let it dry out uh, for a couple days uh, but looking a little bit closer at the peanuts you know you can see a little bit of dirt there on the top of them where the wind and the rain's got them a little dirty so maybe the the dirt will blow off of it if not we'll uh come in with a lifter and lift them up and that'll get the peanuts off the dirt uh, to where they'll dry on both sides and shake a little bit of dirt off the peanuts uh, so that's this field uh, here that i want to wanted to look at and share with you and th these peanuts have been dug and inverted for about a week and a half so now i want to go look at a field that was uh dug up and inverted on Wednesday and, and see how it fared out because that'll be the next field that we move to. Hey everyone, we're almost to the second field. Uh, we've got to turn in here between two cotton fields. Uh, again, we're farm peanuts and we farm cotton. See, our cotton's not quite get nowhere near ready yet because we're uh, do this part-time farming we have to stagger our crops a little bit so that we can uh, try to handle one at a time and not try to have to farm both of them at a time so we'll, we'll be to the peanut field in just a second and here we are at our second field uh, you can just even tell the the difference in the uh, longevity of how these peanuts have been uh, dug up and inverted I said that field a moment ago those peanuts have been dug up for a week and a half or so as we've been picking up those uh, these here were just uh, dug up and inverted last Wednesday so today's the 20th so you can just back up and see the difference in the the days because you can still still see the the brightness of the peanuts on top but you can also the, tell the difference in the rain that uh, Tropical storm Nestor left us. Uh, not as much rain at this field as it was at the other place, and they're only three to four miles apart. Uh, but these will be ready as soon as we can get done with that uh, that first field. But let's uh, let's get out and check these. As you can see, these peanuts here, the the vines still have a lot of green on these. Uh, again, there's about a week's difference in the inverting date. Uh, but these peanuts are a whole lot cleaner as you can see uh, by the coloring of them compared to the last field so uh, we give these about three to four more days 
and they'll be ready to uh, start picking up. Just a shot of the size of this field. And you can see one of the cotton fields that I showed you when we come up, it's right there. Uh, but this will be the end of this video. Just wanted to uh, spend some time with you. Uh, thank you for those that are subscribing. Uh, hope you like what you see and uh, we'll hit that thumbs up button and share us with some of your other friends. And again, thank you to uh, Brian from SLC Farms, Jackie Gerald from Gerald Farms for the, the fellowship last Monday and Tuesday. Enjoyed meeting them. Uh, also, uh, Bagwell Farms, another YouTuber. Uh, met him while we were over in Moultrie. And uh, just another shout out to uh, the Chicken Channel. Uh, don't know how they found me, but they did and subscribed. So went and looked at theirs, and they, they have some pretty chickens on there. Uh, real short videos, but if you, if you like to look at chickens and different colored chickens, and, you know, just uh, go over to the Chicken Channel and and check them out. Uh, again, that's all for today. Uh, just uh, if you like the video, again, hit the thumbs up. If you're not a subscriber to us, uh, please hit the subscribe button so you can uh, check us out for the next video. So, with that, I'll sign out and just say thank you again, and y'all take care and God bless each and every one of you.